My name is Lauren Dale. I'm a volunteer at the Rice County Historical Society and today we'll be looking at our walking plow collection. What we have in front of me here it are the breaking plow co collection which were used to turn the soil that was mostly sod and you had to turn the soil completely upside down so you could you could farm it. These were usually pulled by either oxen or horses. If you had timberland you would be using this, the smaller plow over here. Because of the, of the small mold board, you could uh, plow around rocks and, and tree stumps that you'd taken out. This was also used to for gardeners and someone that had only one horse to use. The plow over there and the one behind us here are general purpose plows. And they were used after you basically establish a field and were able to uh, turn uh, stubble and corn stalks and that type of thing under. They did not turn the soil completely upside down. They more or less turned it on edge and then it, it kind of fell to a seed bed that you could use. A farmer could possibly have as money as two plows, uh, the breaking plow and also the breaking plow was used to plow up hay fields and grass, grass that they'd planted. The, the land sides on the plow, the longer parts, uh, they have to be longer than the plow lay, otherwise the plow will shove out of the ground and you won't get any plowing done. Other than that, um, the progression went from wood, cons wood construction, beams, and standing rolling coulter, which would slice the dirt so you, the plow lay didn't have to tear the sod apart. This in here, we don't have it, but it would be a a rolling coulter like a modern plow would go in there and it would it would slice it would slice the sod these other plows would sometimes have a rolling coulter on them for that very same purpose to to cut the uh, corn stalks or the or the stubble grain to get it buried so it would decompose for the next year's crop the plow lays would be taken to a blacksmith shop to be resharpened they'd wear down on the point in the side and they, they heat them up and then they would hammer them out until they got back to the shape so you could plow. The, the point of the plow had to be pointed down so when you started to pull, it would pull into the ground. The gauge wheels would help hold a depth. You could change the depth, especially you can see on the far one where you, where you have the, the irons, where you adjust that wheel as to how deep you wanted to plow, plow your field.